Fractal design cases have inspired modders all over the world who have built some amazing systems like this dark side themed case by George Priscellus showcasing the spacious internals in the Define S, or Metallic Acid, a mini ITX system by Justin Olson featuring a white, black, and red color scheme and a super clean layout in the Define Nano S. There are a ton more awesome builds like these on Fractal Design's modding series page, so check it out via the sponsor link in this video's description and get inspired for your next project. Excellent! What's up guys, welcome back to Paul's Hardware. Today's video, just a disclaimer right from the get-go, is going to be about my house and my workspace and not so much about me building computers and, and about technology. So just so you know, I'm gonna be doing some cleaning today as well as some preparation for several projects that I've had coming down the pipeline for quite some time. So I've had several people mention to me in recent videos that they've seen a lot of clutter around and that's a big problem. It's been hurting my efficiency, so I need to clean that up. I also have the HTPC Ultimate Build project that a lot of people have been asking about. The HTPC itself is actually completely functional and it's sitting down there and working, but I haven't done the wall mounting and all the stuff that I promised with that. I've also mentioned, at least on our live show a couple times, that I am getting a solar installed as well as a Tesla Powerwall, and along with that, we're hoping to do some actual home improvement projects, a little bit of remodeling here, mainly to get our kitchen redone and then uh, possibly get some new floors put in because we've lived here for about four years now and none of this stuff like this is all how the how the house came pretty much except for like the curtains that we've put up and that kind of thing So there are some things we'd like to change but before getting to any of that I just need to get stuff cleaned up and organized and make some new spaces for some new stuff that has come in over the past year. So we have a single large uh, living room, dining room kind of open area. And I just wanna point out before you guys criticize me for all the clutter in the other spaces, things out here are in fairly good shape. We've, we've kept them relatively clean. Part of the remodeling is probably gonna be getting rid of, rid of some of the bookshelves, redoing the center unit here, cleaning things up because it there, there can feel like there's clutter over in that area to some degree, but that's mostly clean and everything. Over in this space is the dining room, and this is the area that I have been co-opting for much of the summer and much of this year because I've had to do uh, an exorbitant amount of benchmarks this year. We had Ryzen, we had Vega, we had Threadripper, uh, we had Skylake X, we had Coffee Lake, other stuff in between. So I've been doing most of my benchmarking out here, and that's mainly because we have uh, you know, whole house air conditioning and it's a lot easier to maintain the temperatures and the garage gets really warm later in the day even when I have the AC cranked up there. So this is the space I've co-opted and like, you know, that's it's like half the living space that we have basically. I have sort of just taken and put all of my stuff on. Now normally this is okay and I have a, a lovely wonderful wife and she's very very tolerant of this kind of thing. However, like see this here? There's actually piles of, of boxes of of mainly computer hardware and stuff under there. So um, I, at first I was confused, like, is is she drying sheets off here or something? No, she's just covering my crap so she, she, she doesn't have to look at it. That's a big warning sign. So um, there's kind of my mess out here for now. This side over here is dog food and dog stuff for the most part. And right now it's on a folding table so we're hopefully gonna maybe set up something over here uh, to, to be a little bit more contained for the dog feeding because we do have to get at that every day. Also, there's my cornhole board that Brian made me. It's over in the corner. Should use that. Meanwhile, out in the garage, things are a little bit more chaotic. This side of the garage is the actual garage area. Laundry, garage storage of things. I definitely can clean and reorganize and make some better storage for that s side. It's not very well done at all and getting st stuff is very difficult. And then there's my actual sort of studio area, my main desk, and this is where just, like, every single project that comes through, I usually have some kind of plan of like, oh, once that project's done, I'm going to clean it up and put stuff away and whatever. It's just not been happening. I, it's, I've been moving from one to the next so quickly. So I just have, like, motherboards lying out and like, oh, look, there's all the pieces of the original Arctic Panther, and there's, there's the new Arctic Panther. Over here is the half build that I just did, piles of stuff from Nats. We just did awesome hardware last night, so there's still like stuff lying around from that. I did clear up the beer bottles, so that was good. New monitor over here that needs to be put on the arm mounts that I was frantically trying to get done before the show and didn't have time, so it's just sitting on the stand, so I've got to work on that. Uh, and then of course the sort of 
mess that's all over there. It's supposed to be kind of my storage area over there, but it's just, it's just piled with stuff. So all this is to say, I have lots of work to get done. Cleaning is gonna be the first item on the list because uh, it's gonna also lead to what's probably gonna be a garage work log video following up to introduce some better storage. I have some cabinets and shelves, but stuff's just piled in there. I need to create some drawers and that kind of thing in there. But I've done far too much of an intro already for this video. I'm going to get my uh, time-lapse camera set up and then I'm gonna get to work. Okay guys, just checking in here in the middle of this cleaning and reorganization project uh, because lots has been going on and it's hard for me to get an idea of what you guys are seeing because you're seeing this all happen very fast, whereas for me it's taking a few days. It is Sunday morning now and I've made a lot of progress and I just wanted to kind of show you guys what my MO is as far as all the stuff that's that's you're seeing moving from place to place or being piled up now. On the table right now is all of the dog stuff. Apart from the dog food and like their bowls, uh, this is this is all of our dog equipment. We're about to go through all this, probably uh, donate a lot of it uh, that we don't use anymore and uh, consolidate the rest of it to keep things a bit more tidy. Beyond that over here has been my area for gathering things that are in their boxes and they're fully functional and pretty much good to go. And here I'm just sort of organizing stuff so I can get a handle on like video cards are there. These are all mostly motherboards, coolers, uh, up here I've got some CPUs and memory and that kind of thing. I do have some plans for a lot of this stuff, but um, for myself what I want to do is just get an assessment of what I have from each type of products, mainly motherboards, I have way too many of those keep the ones I need for current generation and make sure I have uh, one of each prior generation and then hand the rest down to someone who can possibly make better use of them than myself. Over on this side of the room, empty boxes, products currently in use. And these I'm actually gonna have a storage rack for up in the garage, so I'm just gathering all those together. There's more uh, uh, boxes as well as products out in the garage that I still haven't moved out here yet, but getting everything cleared apart was gonna be the biggest part. These cabinets over here, we're gonna move over against this wall as well as the remainder of my wife's old desk or the frame of it there is gonna go there for now for temporary and that's gonna be our dog area. And then this, we're gonna put the table, our dining room table there. This is mostly uh, trash and recycling down here. So that's all gonna get cleared out. I got this chair here. This chair broke like a year ago and I've been intending to fix it. Hold on, let's see if I can fix it. Ta-da, chair is now stool. I love fixing things. Okay, so beyond that, uh, I've been doing some stuff out in the garage, but haven't been uh, filming much out there yet. It is still very chaotic out there. For now, gonna get the dog area set up over there. Set this area up to be a receptacle for piling all the stuff that's going to be cleared out of here. And then of course, get prepared to um, put additional storage in the garage for these boxes. And of course the clearing out of the garage. Still lots of work to be done. Oh yeah, and just in case anyone was wondering how I'm uh, recording these time lapses, uh, GoPro Hero 4 is up here connected to an AC adapter. So it's got power all the time, which is hooked up there and it's got a couple camera mount rigging things going on there. And uh, that's been doing a great job. So uh, I'm gonna turn this back on and get back to work. <laughs>
All right, guys, that seems like it was a lot of work, or at least it should have been a lot of work, provided that my time lapses were working properly. I hope they did. Uh, also, it got a little disjointed. At the beginning of this video, my thought was, you know what, I got a lot of work to do, a lot of cleaning up, a lot of organizing. I'm gonna spend maybe two, three days on it, get some footage, see how that goes. It's actually been closer to like a week and a half since I started making this video, and I have made lots of progress. Of course, there's been lots of distractions and other things I've been working on too, but I've tried to keep those time lapses going whenever I could. Anyway, more to the point, um, back behind me here is probably the best example of the fruits of my labor, so let's take a quick look. I hope you guys don't mind Hero snoring down there, but uh, here is the set, and it's looking pretty clean and organized, especially if you compare it to the intro. Now, if you're looking over to the left here, you might notice that there's some deeper things that I was intending to fix that I haven't gotten to yet, because I really just realized that my organization as it stands just kind of needs a refresh. I have space here, but I don't have some smaller spaces tucked away, and I really, really need to redo this cupboard because it's functional for storage, but I need to get better space in there and some drawers and stuff like that. A work table here, having it cleaned off, as well as having that area over there cleaned off is something that doesn't happen very often. Combine that with the fact that this table over here is also clean for the most part, except for my printer over there, uh, and it makes me very happy. These are some building equipment and materials that I generally do tend to keep here, but as I hopefully improve the storage space back there, I'll have better places to tuck some of those little things away, and uh, I may or may not cover that organization project in a future video. But main point is here that everything is looking a heck of a lot better than it used to. I feel a lot better when things are clean and a bit more organized, and I can actually make more use of this space over here as a staging area when I get products com coming in. But beyond all that, of course, is the rest of the garage where there are more normal garage things, and I still haven't gotten to all that, and I still haven't put up the other overhead uh, that I'm planning to do on the far end up there, so yeah, more work to be done over there. Ah yes, the dining room, the area that I promised I would get cleaned up so that we could eat dinner on the table and stuff. Uh, don't worry, this looks a lot worse than it actually is. So let me start off actually over here in this corner. Dog stuff. Look, we set these up here and we got rid of that table and we have a little chair there that I made it into a chair from a stool, or made it into a stool from a chair and dog food. This is my uh, Halloween costume. I'm actually going to be wearing that tonight. That's why that's out. Also still got some pieces of other tables and those are going to be transitioned outside. Down here on the ground just uh, some recycling. Over here on the right wall is stuff that I'm not going to keep and I got to figure out proper ways of disposing of some of that. Actually ignore those cases though. <laughs> those aren't part of that. This stuff all over here apart from uh, the, the, the cornhole board that Grant, Brian made me is all uh, boxes with hardware that's in use. So those are gonna go up on the uh, upper rack in the garage once I get that final one installed. Table here still has a few things that need to be disassembled and whatnot. Some graphics cards, uh, CPUs are here, memories over there. <laughs> These are all CPU coolers, motherboards, some graphics cards over there. But things are organized. The piles that they're in are organized and then all the rest of the cases are there and then miscellaneous stuff on the table right there. So, so I'm gonna be bringing the stuff that I still need from these piles back into the garage and then the rest of it uh, will be set aside and disposed of. Probably just an incinerator or something like that. And yeah, I do know looking at all this, comparing my before and my after pics that um, it's maybe not, not all that impressive. I swear guys, I've, I've really gotten a lot done. I promise, it just still looks cluttered. This is an ongoing an ongoing thing and I of course still have more to do. I will say though that I'm pretty excited about the progress I've made because I'm gonna start uh, moving some stuff outside and working on the stuff out there. So uh, garage work log I think coming up very soon. Um, but for now, uh, I hope you guys have at least gained some entertainment out of watching this video. I always feel slightly strange when I just post videos of me cleaning and organizing, but um, what the heck, I got a lot done. So hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy it, and if you do have any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section down below. I'll be back very soon with more videos, and we'll see you guys in the next one.